watching Let's Chat. If you want a taste of something a little different, a little new, and you haven't been to Succotash Cajun Cuisine yet, let me highly, strongly, and emphatically suggest you check this out. We'll tell you where it is in just a moment. Right now, we'll introduce you to Chef Ken Richardson. Chef is the one of the driving forces behind Succotash Cajun Cuisine. General Manager Timothy Hammonds, good morning to you both. And Tanya's over here in the sidelines sidelines Hi. anyway guys good morning and thanks so much for joining us thank um, you for having us saw about your place online we were coming back from nashville i said let's go here you all accommodated me and i've been a fan ever since cajun cuisine that's probably a little more layered and nuanced than just about any other type of food is that that fair to say well yes, we have a lot more flavor you do indeed <laughs> and you guys are both classically trained Cajun, Louisiana, New Orleans, however you want to put it. So let's forget me and get to the food here. You said we're going to make a little etouffee. Is that right? That's right. Yes, sir. All right, where do we start? Timothy, you, you kick us off. Well, first of all, let's start with a little butter. A little butter. That's always a good thing when it comes to cooking. Got some garlic here somewhere, I hope. Mm -hmm. You got to have a little of that. And one of the things that makes Succotash Cajun cuisine so uniquely different is you guys pretty much do everything fresh and everything in-house. Yes, sir. Every morning we wake up, start prepping, breaking down our shrimp. About the only thing you don't do is actually go catch the crawfish themselves. Yes, sir. All right. Someday, someday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken, tell me what you're doing now. Doing a little browning on the shrimp? Yep, stirring the shrimp, getting the shrimp good and brown. Don't want to get it too brown. Just want to go ahead and cook it because it gives off a little bit more flavor once we add the sauces and everything else to right. it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add the Trinity since we got the shrimp part cooked. Now, you know what Trinity is, right? I do not. I was just getting ready to Oh, this is the holy Trinity. We got the onions, we got the bell pepper, and we got the celery. All right. All right. I'm all for it. Okay. And again, you don't want to overcook this. Don't want to overcook don't the shrimp. Don't cook it. How do you no know time. when the shrimp is ready to add the holy Trinity in? Well, you, you, you have a dense. It goes from being soft to more dense. Right. And then, because you don't want to overcook it because you're still going to cook it with the sauce. You want it to still suck in the flavors of your sauce. Sure. You. Because overcooked shrimp, there's a fine line between shrimp being perfect and shrimp being yes, overcooked. It turns to bubble. All right, <laughs> let me ask you this while you're working on the etouffee. Um, let's say someone is kind of new to Cajun cuisine, don't know what they want. You guys have got a beautiful platter with a little bit of everything on it. A Mardi right? Gras platter. Mardi Gras platter. The Mardi Gras. Of course, I should That's know That's why this. we had to name it the Mardi Gras. Cause <laughs> it's a big party on the plate. <laughs> it is that, indeed. And you have other things, too. All right, you go ahead, and I'm going to talk about some of the things here. One thing I I had when we went to Succotash was the soft shell batter fried crabs and they were absolutely out of this world. Yes, Thank you. I mean absolutely out of this world. Tell us about some of the other specialties we can find. Okay so one of our specialties is the char grilled oysters. We sell a ton of those right there. Best ones I've ever had including in New Orleans. Thank you. Thank Thank you. And I don't mean at the touristy places. I mean some of the mom and pop places in New Orleans. Thank you. Best ones I've ever had. All right. Carry on. All right, then we have our soft shell crab po' boy. That is one of my favorites right there. Yes, sir. And then our beignets. Um, can never get enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll eat to that. All right, and what have you got down on your side of the table? Oh, uh, you got some gator bites. You got your cheesecake. It's actually Tanya makes the cheesecake. Tanya makes the cheesecake. That's right. Best All I've right. had in a while. I Better than the cheesecake factory to me personally. It is indeed delicious. <laughs> And you got your uh, boudin bites. And boudin your, bites. of course, you got your jambalaya. Jambalaya. Yes, sir. Man, that's hard to beat. All right, what's our next step here in the etouffee? All right, next step here, we're going to go ahead and add our fire roasted diced tomatoes. Fire roasted diced tomatoes. Mm hmm. And that's kind of a staple of pretty much any sort of Cajun cuisine is those yes, fire roasted tomatoes. How did you guys come to wind up in Guild, Tennessee, which is in Marion County? It's right across the line. It is so easy to find. How did you guys wind up there with your many, many years between the three of you of collective restaurant experience? It's the water. 
<laughs> Being close to the lake, you can't beat it. You're yeah. right. It's certainly a beautiful setting. All right, we have less than three minutes to go. You're going to be able to pull this out of Fay off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So then we're going to add a little bit of herbs to it. A little bit of herbs. What kind? We got some parsley. We got some thyme. We got some fresh green onions. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of oregano. A little bit of oregano. Mm hmm All right. Well, and right. while he's finishing that, let me read you off just a few of the items they have for Sunday brunch. Just a few of the items. You have a ribeye benedict. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, just those are five of the sexiest syllables ever put together. <laughs> ribeye benedict. You got crepes, all sorts of different varieties of crepes. Um, you've got Monte Cristo sandwiches, and you know how good those are. And then I see something here. Bananas Foster Waffles. Yes, sir. Right, yes, sir. Now, that's only available on Sunday brunch, right? That's yes. right. All right. Now, are you available for lunch during the week? Yes. Yes. Are available for lunch and for dinner. All right. Now, if Bananas Foster Waffles doesn't tickle your fancy, then I feel sorry for you. They've also got a great kids menu as well, and you can see a few of the things on their kids menu right here. They've got, of course, all the typical sides, fish sticks, the kid burgers, popcorn, shrimp, and other various yummy things as well. Now, the beignets, you bring more than a little touch of authenticity to the beignets, right? Yes, sir. What's yes, the sir. secret? I've tried to make these at home, and I can't. You got to put a lot of love in it. Okay, I've tried that, Chef Put Ken. a lot of love, and when you, when you get done making them, don't forget to add more sugar. Don't, don't forget, forget to add more sugar, more really. Sugar, more sugar, the better. All right, baking sugar, confectioner sugar, regular confectioner, granulated confectioner sugar. sugar. Confectioner sugar, okay. I've tried, and I'm just lousy at it. That's why I'm grateful there are professionals like you at it. Mm -hmm. Now, this of fait you're making... Typically, if you're doing this in the restaurant, you have a lot more ingredients, obviously, and it takes a long time to do it. Yes. A lot of people tend to think that you can get good, great etouffee in a hurry. You just can't do no, it. You got to put the love happen. and the time into it, right? Yeah, you have to. All right. Then you add the crawfish, a little shrimp. Man, that stuff smells amazing. All right, very quickly, what kind of cheesecake does Tanya make for you? She has a bourbon, bourbon cheesecake. cheesecake. Bourbon cheesecake. Yes, sir. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh, it's the best thing on the planet. Really? really? Yes. Now, this is your this is your name and reputation on the line. If you're saying the best on the planet, I trust you. And if you don't know a whole lot about Cajun food, no problem. Go out there. The servers are very knowledgeable, very friendly. They'll ask you what you like, what you don't like. Take their advice. But again, here, down here into the magic oven, let me hold this for just a second. We have got the final product of the etouffee. Have a look and a taste of that. Freshly grilled bread and more. Find out more. They are in Gill, Tennessee, just across the line in Marion County. Succotash Cajun Cuisine.